Hey guys, Fat Funk here. Yeah, I know it's been almost a month plus since I make a, my last video. Um, I've been very very busy actually uh, with work and stuff. And uh, actually, I think for the whole of last month, I didn't buy anything at all. Um, that's because um, it was post Chinese New Year, and you know, usually Chinese New Year is it's, it's a big. Uh, festivity for us Chinese and you know we usually ended up spending a lot of money during that <laughs> that period so I had to um, stay off uh, buying stuff from the internet for the whole month and I'm so glad that I'm back on track right now and yep I just got back from work tonight and uh, as you can see there's this big box over here and yeah, I've been eagerly waiting for this beast, so-called beast, and what is in the box? Well, we are about to find out, so let me set the camera up here so you can have a better view. And trusty pen knife is back. <laughs> After almost a month of hiatus, you know, we have... Um, Oops, sorry guys. Oops, what a shake. We have boots of uh, Japanese newspaper. Which is very awesome. I'm actually trying to learn how to read a little bit of Japanese. Uh, starting off with the basic kanji characters. Um, yeah, so yeah, I, I think you guys can see a little bit of what's in this box and we have this is a fully boxed um, original game gear black game gear the one that was first released in um, 1990 um, I actually have a another one but um, it's not the real original uh, game gear that I was uh, hoping for um, as I explained in my one some of my old videos, the original Game Gear, the the very first one that was released had a yeah had a flat glass screen, so this one has it. So I'm I'm really happy to to get this one for dirt cheap. <laughs> so I'll just put this at one side here, and we have a couple of uh, Game Gear games, which I'm gonna open for you guys. And finally, uh, okay, this one I need two hands to... Alright, got her out, and this is it. This is the uh, PC Engine IFU30 uh, interface unit um, CD-ROM system. So, this one is uh, fully boxed, as you can see. Um, well, I didn't expect it to be that huge. <laughs> And it's pretty heavy. I'm not sure whether it comes with the AC adapter. Mm, even if it comes with it, I wouldn't be able to use it. But um, yeah, I will eventually open it up and show what's inside the box. So let's start off with the game gear first. Okay, so I removed the bubble wrapping and here she is. Um, somewhat pretty. So yeah, remove the outer box and here she is and the cool thing is this one still has the um, you know styrofoam cover and wow gosh she looks very good I don't think that's a scratch on the screen holy cow <gasps> so happy guys I didn't expect it to be this clean honestly wow check it out there's not even a scratch on the screen, man. Fuck. Please pardon my swearing here, but I'm just too shocked. <laughs> and wow, it's really clean. Shit, this is extremely good for collection. It looks as if it's hardly used. And if you can look at the serial number, it's a very low serial number. So definitely this is the one of the earlier um, Game Gear, the earlier batch that was released 
in Japan so as usual um, I will need to replace the capacitors in here you know, to get her running yeah so extremely extremely happy also um, let me just put this here also comes with the um, stripe strap sorry I don't think it's been used also the uh, instruction manuals looks very very cool still has the uh, uh, what we call the the mailing coupon or the warranty card I'm not too sure there this is just insane damn I got lucky this time. <laughs> Woo! All right, so I'm gonna put this aside. Ah, damn, damn, damn! I'm gonna put this on the bed because she's my new precious. All right, all right, on to the games. Here, let's open this up. All right, guys, I got it all open up, and let's go through the Game Gear games that I have. First one we have uh, G Lock Air Battle. Um, this one is like a cockpit style, uh, you know, shooting game. Um, very reminiscent of uh, of the burner, uh, but this time it's for the Game Gear. So I heard that this game is pretty good. Yeah, can't wait to try it. Uh, put it there, and the next game is. Uh, also fully boxed is uh, Shining Force for the Game Gear. Um, I don't think I'll be able to play this one because it's entirely in Japanese, but um, it's still good to have for collection. <laughs> Complete and boxed. Next one we have uh, Gunstar Heroes for the Game Gear. Yeah, we all know that Gunstar Heroes uh, for the Mega Drive is just fantastic, and I think that the port for the Game Gear is also um, very very good for you know 8-bit um, graphics so yeah just can't wait to try this out um, the only little problem about this uh, box is it's a bit sun faded but it's okay and the final one we have uh, Restar and I've been wanting to get this game here for a very long time and you know Restar is a very very good game made by um, let me see made by Sega and yeah there's nothing much I can say about Restar except that it's super awesome <laughs> so really glad to have a fully boxed one yes and it's also pretty rare for the Game Gear so Alright, so now onto the big boy here and you know unleash her for you guys. <laughs> Alright guys, got it out from the bubble wrap and here she is. She's quite she's pretty awesome from I can see there's some dance over here but for the price I paid I think it's okay. <laughs> no sweat, at least it has a box. Um, okay, so we're gonna Open it and see what's inside. Poof! Wow, it doesn't come with the AC adapter, and yet it's still very heavy. So here is what's inside. Missing the AC adapter and the AV cords, but that's okay. It's already mentioned black and white in the auction that doesn't come with those. Um, okay, let me try to 